Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here, and this is my review of the cheapest super zoom camera that you can currently get on the market. It's the Nikon L330. It comes with a 20.2 megapixel sensor, which is an upgrade from last year's 16 megapixel sensor. It also has a 26x optical zoom lens with 4x digital zoom. That translates to a 22.5 to a 585mm long zoom lens. The rear features a 3 inch 460k dot LCD screen with Nikon's basic button layout. The L330 retails for $220 and is currently only available in black. Once you start to use the camera, you'll really notice how poor the build quality is, and that's something that I'd like to see improved in a next gen model. You also have to remember this runs off of four AA batteries, so you'll either love or hate the versatility of batteries and you'll always have to carry a spare set around. You'll get up to five to 700 shots before you have to swap out the AA's. In terms of performance, expect point and shoot quality with the versatility of a super zoom lens. Don't expect to change things like ISO, aperture, or shutter speed since those options aren't even available. You're limited to auto easy or just auto mode and that is pretty much it. In terms of low light performance, once again, don't expect anything too crazy as this is an entry level device. And in terms of HD video recording, you're limited to 720p at 30 frames per second. Here are a few sample shots as well as video footage. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. So right now we're outside testing out the Nikon L330's HD recording capabilities. Just remember this is at 720p at 30 frames per second. We'll do a quick pan as well as a full zoom shot. Right out of the box, you can already tell just by the look and feel of this camera that this is an entry level device. In terms of build quality, there's a lot more to be desired. It's completely made of plastic and I feel that one solid drop would shatter this into a hundred tiny pieces. There are bits of plastic that are creaking and bending where I don't think it should be, but you have to remember we're dealing with entry level money here and this is one of the cheapest super zoom cameras you can get. In terms of performance, you're extremely limited to what you can do. It's just point, shoot, hopefully focus, and click to take the photo, and that's pretty much it. You have no sense of options or changes that you can make. It's just auto easy, and this is really suited to someone who is not really too familiar with a camera, just wants this out of the box, just to point and shoot with that 26 times optical zoom performance. Also, video quality, you're limited to 720p at 30 frames per second. That's just something to consider if you're looking to purchase this for video production. But let me know what you guys think about this Nikon L330 in the comments down below. I know that super zoom cameras tend to do pretty well on my channel, which means that there is an interest for these entry level devices. I think you should spoil yourself and spend the extra money, say, on the Nikon L830 that just came out as well. I've got my review on my channel and I will leave that in the description box down below. 
Once again, guys, if you like this content, please be sure to hit that subscribe button if you already haven't. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will, of course, catch you guys in my next video. Peace.